This week we'll be talking about transgender nobbies. Do they really exist or are they not factual? There are important questions you might have about the nobby, like what does it eat? Is it false judgment? Is it a false prophet? Is it in the book of Revelation? We'll be discovering all of these and discussing what the Nobby is all about. We'll be having a special guest today, a doctor of the sciences. His name is Dick Turgidson. Hello. Today on Look at It with Dr. Mike Oxlong, PhD, we have renowned psychoanalysis physicist Dr. Dick Turgidson, PhD, and we'll be discussing supplementation by GMO products containing natural substances that we believe the Nobby consumes. This is just part of the government taking over all of our lives and conforming everything to the GMO with the alien technologies which have not been seen but we know they are there. Now the the FDA which is a federal drug administration they they uh, force you to take GMO. Now would would you say that the Nobby is of this world or is is the Nobby not of this world like the planet Uranus? Even though you cannot see them on the telescopes, but ancient writings which show the Nobby also show rings around Uranus. You can clearly see clearly the Nobby's and the alien technologies have been fused with the GMOs to make a highly supplemented hybrid. Would you say I could see color? The Nobby, as far as we know, is an alien hybrid of natural things, but the Quahitas is an unnatural thing with the alien technologies of the government. Clearly, we know these things. Would you say the the Quahitas and the Nabi were capable of hybridizing and falsifying and becoming false prophets. The ancient writings tell us of the alien technologies which have been inculcating with the Nabis and the Quahitas before the arrival of the Quahitas. The hybridizations of the Nobby and the alien technology with the GMOs mixed together making these strange unnatural things in the natural world were foretold in the ancient text written by the aliens left at the pyramids of Giza. If the evidence says there is a Quahitas, it does. Well, look at that. Well, that will conclude our epic journey today. Speaking of journeys, the aliens took a long journey through the atmosphere of the universe to get to the Earth to teach us the secrets uh, of that, the mixture that'll, that'll of the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will conclude our epic journey for today. Security has told me that that was not the guest that was supposed to be on the show. Look at that. Dr. Uh, Ph.D. Turd, Turd Dickinson, I, I, I believe was his name. Turd, was it Turd Dickinson? Yes. 
Um, it doesn't really matter today because the time is over and it is the time for supplementation. If you've gone your whole life being a hundred pounds and been eating GMO corn products, you should try Meat Rex made with 5,000% RDA supplemented protein only found at your local fast food markets get you a box today by Meat Rex I take it you should too until next time continue to look at it with Dr. Mike Oxlong PhD